it's got to hurt for the Bengals. To, oh, yeah. You're in position to win every single game. And, and this is today's NFL. The margins are so narrow. Mm-hmm. And you have these teams having their hearts ripped out, whether it's a failure to execute, like we saw from the Browns, your Browns yesterday, or the Cardinals when you have a chance to win the game, or whether it is you make it all happen, you get it done, you find a way to win the game. And I don't know how much this becomes – kind of a, a thing where we're losing these close games, so we're destined to keep losing them. Can we turn it around? And the teams that are pulling a rabbit out of their butts, can they continue to do it like the Vikings? They have no business being 4-1. and one. What are they doing at 4-1? and one? They've pulled three straight games out of the thin air, and, and they should have lost each one of them. And so I don't, I don't know that it sets the tone or creates a narrative. It just stinks for the Bengals. They could be 5-0. and oh, They're 2-3. and three. And of those three games where they lose in walk-off fashion, any one of them could have gone the other way. And there's a big difference. Three and two, four and one, or five and oh, and you're under 500 right now in a tough division in the toughest of the two conferences. It's, it's not a good start for, for the defending AFC champions. No, it's not. And, you know, if I had one criticism of Zach Taylor, it would be you need to stop getting so cute toward the goal line. And we talked about earlier kind of that bush push play. And in, that's where you're honestly, you're getting yourself in the best position you can to get the ball into the box because the straightest or the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? Where you're at the goal line and you're starting to do all this cute stuff and you're trying to be the Chiefs. You're not the Chiefs. Nobody else is the Chiefs. Don't try to be the Chiefs. Don't do this. I mean, what are we doing here? It's first down and goal at the two. Run the ball forward. Stop doing this weird stuff. We don't need to do that. Get the ball in position to be in the end zone and go put it there. And so I understand, you know, you want to be a little bit creative, but then this is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, it's fourth down and goal. And you think that that's the best play you got for two yards? Man, this looks real, real, real ugly because you're not the Chiefs. Everybody wants to be the Chiefs, and that play had no shot from jump because, as I put on Twitter, the Ravens read that play like a Dr. Seuss book. That is easy for them. They understood what was coming. They knew their assignments, and that play had no shot from jump. And that's where it's just like, okay, guys, if you're that close to the end zone, just put the ball in the box. Run it. Do what you have to do. It's an attitude play. And that, that's the thing I don't, I didn't love from Zach Taylor in the Bengals last night. By the way, just had a flashback to when I was five years old. The first book I ever read, Go Dog Go, which was <laughs> awesome. Go Dog Go, highly recommended. And it just illustrates and amplifies the greatness of the Chiefs when this happens. I like it when this happens because it forces us to appreciate what the Chiefs do. They right. are the Harlem Globetrotters. Patrick Mahomes is Meadowlark Lemon. I mean, he's the only one that can do it. No one else can do it. Others yeah. can try. He's the only one that can. And we get I to mean, watch how, and enjoy it tonight. Look how uncomfortable Burrow looked there. Burrow looked so uncomfortable just doing, doing that play because he knew it wasn't going to work. And so, I mean, I don't know if they should have called timeout. I don't know what they should have done, but they should not have done that. There, I don't know how many times they rep that play in practice, but man, when you have two yards and you think that's your best play and then it blows up in your face that badly, there is some sort of strategic error that you made throughout the week and then at that point in the game to call that there. It just was not a good play. I'd love to know how that looked in practice and Me could too. it have looked good enough that would have caused Zach Taylor to say, yeah, let's put that in. Let's put that on the sheet. For yes, Sunday night against the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. And they put it on the sheet and they called it. And it ended up being a piece of sheet for the Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> hey, all right, let's move on. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.